Hello everyone. I've been wanting to come on earlier this week to change some babies in some Easter outfits and start getting all that going. And I've just been busy and haven't been able to get on. But today I'm going to take advantage of some free time and make some videos changing some babies. And I thought I'd show you my one-of-a-kind clay doll here, Jana. She's the second one I've sculpted. And she's wearing this gorgeous uh, child of mine uh, romper that has like a little bunny and roses all over it. It's so cute. And she's got these cute little knitted shoes. Because it is cold here. We are we are feeling spring, but we're not seeing anything spring. There's your little hand. Oh, she's so cute. Um, and I wanted to show you that I baked my third doll. Now he's raw clay. He's not painted yet, but this is my third doll, Gethsemane, and uh, what a powerful name. Um, I've had this name and this face in mind for a while, and it's so nice to see him come together. i got to do his limbs, and then we'll get to paint him. Cannot wait to paint this sweet face. Look at the details in the back of his mouth, his little uh, uvula, his tongue, his gums. He was a real challenge for me. Um, you can kind of see his, some of his story on Spillman Sweeties Instagram and Spillman Sweeties on, uh, Facebook. I share my art there a lot, but I love how he turned out. He's so cute and he can take a cut pacifier, which is nice. Let me see. Are we going to take it? Are you going to make a liar out of me? <laughs> Oh, nope, there he is with it. So, you can take a cut, Binky. Oh, now he spit it out. <laughs> anyway, I'm having a lot of fun. and um, But he's been definitely challenging. Uh, this one, I sculpted, it seemed like, well, probably at the time it was challenging. But now uh, it seems like a breeze. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's so sweet. We got someone that's happy and someone that's mad. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, let me wipe your tears. Oh, <laughs> he's so fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you Jana's little bunny outfit. She looks so sweet. I'm really loving my uh, one of a kind clay dolls. And sculpting them, and it's fun to make my own dolls for my collection. And uh, but they're clay, and so it's a little nerve wracking to me, too. I get a little nervous, although I don't think I need to be quite as nervous with them. <laughs> I just don't want to mess them up, you know. She's so pretty, she's so pretty. I think pink's her color. What do we think? I think pink is her color. Anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, Miss Jana in her Easter outfit, and then I, I haven't been on very long, so I think I'll pause you and change uh, one of my Paradise Galleries in their Easter outfit. Okay, let's change baby Nellie. Um, she is the Nora from Paradise Galleries. She's one of their new releases, and I really love her. And I'm going to change her into one of my favorite handmade dresses I have. It is so pretty. It's got peonies all over it, and peonies are my favorite flower. It's got this really pretty lace, and I have the matching socks, and it has a little bonnet. And I've had this little uh, dress set for a while. I have a few dress sets from this seamstress. As well as this seamstress made the baby clothes out of my grandmother's clothing. When my grandmother passed, I sent her clothes, some of her um, nightgowns and clothing to uh, New England. And uh, the seamstress there made beautiful dresses. And I usually get them out around this time of year because they make wonderful little Easter dresses. But I just haven't got them out yet. They're still put away because, um, yeah, I normally do them about this time of year. Anyway, 
I miss my grandma. You know, grief is funny. Because for a long time, you know, her passing, of course, bothered me. But as I've gotten older, it seems like it's bothering me a little bit more. I wish she was here so bad. Um, I wish I could tell her that I married her lawn care guy. <laughs> I think she and grandpa would get such a kick out of that. Oh, I think we would have a really good, fun conversation about that. And she got me my first reborn, and she really loved the dolls. And she, uh, she, of course, she's she didn't know that I became a doll artist or a doll sculptor, and so I'd love to be able to tell her all that. And yeah, just some days it it hits a little harder. Than others grief doesn't really go away it just comes up in different times I think okay there we go that dress looks pretty I love these colors the green and the pink for a long time I remember in high school that most of my favorite colors was lime green and hot pink <laughs> oh and I also had black and pink uh, Room. Oh, my room went through so many phases. I tell you what. <laughs> uh, that's cold today. It is just cold. It's in the 30s, 20s, and it is just, it's too cold. I hope it warms up so that the kids can Easter egg hunt this weekend. I'll be sad if it's too cold for that. Let me find my socks. I got my sock bin here. You see all my socks and my sock bin? Is my... I didn't realize that my flash was on till just now. Huh. I guess I had my flash turned on. We'll see how that affects the video. I didn't realize that it was on. That's odd. It is on though. See? Huh. All right, well, here's the socks. They have the same lace that is in the dress around the sleeves, around the hem. And so we're going to put those on her. She looks so cute. Can't wait to photograph her in this. And I also need to photograph uh, Jana in her little outfit. She looks so sweet, too. My two happy girls I'm showing today. I need the warmth of their smiles, huh? Yeah, we need the warmth of your smiles. That looks so sweet. Oh, my sweet Nellies. Come here. We're going to get a hug. We're going to get a hug. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. peek a -boo. Look at that flash. It's on. Oh, I know, Nellie. I know. Who turned the flash on? Turn it off. Turn that flash off. Oh, she's so cute. Here's your little teether. I forgot to give it to her, and it was on the floor for a while. It was on the floor, huh? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that video. It's still a little short. I could still go a little longer, huh? I bet we could change another baby even. You ready? We're going to change another baby. Yeah, I'm making kind of a long video today while I've got time and while you're here with me. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Um, and we're going to change a little Blossom. We're going to change Blossom into a uh, Petite Ami hand embroidered dress. And it's got bloomers and a bonnet. It's going to be like a long gown on her. I'm excited to see it. And then Gabriel says hi. Say hi, Gabriel. I know the flash is on. <laughs> I know the flash is on. <laughs> He's like, who turned that on? I don't know. I didn't. All righty, sweetie pie. Let's get you out of this very thin outfit.
this long gown will provide you some more warmth. I feel like wearing, I bet it's like wearing a blanket. I know I got some long nightgowns for uh, winter that are, oh, they are just so lovely. But I've got my winter blankets still on my bed because it's just so chilly at night. Anyway, how is everyone doing? Is it busy Holy Week for you? If you don't know what Holy Week is, it's the week um, leading up to Jesus' crucifixion. So it's pretty interesting to read about. So I encourage you to do so. Okay. We're gonna make her hair wild, I guess. But that's okay because it's gonna I'm gonna take her little bow out. It's gonna go into a uh, bonnet anyway, huh honey? But we still like it to look nice, so if you're seeing me. I'm leaning into the camera. What are we gonna do, huh, Blossom? What are we gonna do? She's got the I bet she's got the softest of the uh, Paradise Gallery's hair that I felt, she's got the softest. So yeah, I just figured I'd make a longer video today. Sometimes it's nice just to play them in the background, yeah. There is some cool uh, little topics that I'd like to chime in about, but I don't know how to articulate. I, I need to think about how I'm going to articulate that because... <laughs> Oh, and there's Lady. She's barking. I'll have to pause you. My little doggie's barking. And if there is a topic that you guys are wanting to hear from me, look how big these bloomers are. Oh, my goodness. You could just wear the bloomers. What size is this? What size are we putting on you, sweetie pie? It doesn't have a size. It's a little big, but that's okay. That's okay. Get your pinky out of there. Get your pinky out of there. They're going to be so pretty. I bet we should. I think we should have a tea party, huh? Yeah. Maybe I should dress you all up. And we could have a little Easter tea party. That would be fun. I used to always have tea parties growing up with my dolls. Um. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm going to be taking her blanket that she came with, her little bird blanket, and I'm going to be making her an old-fashioned cloth diaper with it because I've been really wanting to do that. Um, I like the old-fashioned, you know, with the diaper pins. So we'll see what we can do here. I'm really liking... You know, the old-fashioned look. And this dress, definitely. All these little buttons. All those little buttons. Look how precious she looks. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to keep you nice and warm, huh? Yeah, that's going to keep you nice and warm. Oh, that is so precious. Look at that sweet girl. Now, I want to put her little cloth diaper on. Where'd it go, though? I might have to just, oh, here it is. And here's one of my pins. Now this fabric's different. This is not, uh, this is one that uh, they sent. And I've got it in my triangle that I want. Cause that's how I'm gonna do mine. I'll put you down a little ways so we can see this. I know, I just put all your bloomers on, sweetie pie. <laughs> oh, but. I want to have her in a cloth diaper because I think all the others are in there. No, Nellie's in a Nellie's in one of these disposable ones. Okay, let's put this on you. Oh, we're gonna need to fold it down. We're gonna need to fold this down just like that. Okay, so I've got it in my triangle and I fold down the back. Like that. Okay, we got the front of the triangle here. Okay. The leg area is going to be 
difficult because she's because she's a three fourth limb. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Make sure the middle's up nice and tight. And there we go. Now we're gonna button you. Button you up here. It's a lot of fabric to go through, and this fabric doesn't like this diaper pin at all. It's like repelling it. It's so weird. It's hard to get through. I mean, I guess that's good, but because you don't want sharp things going through your fabric, but for the purpose of what I'm trying to do, it'd be nice if it cooperated with me. We're just going to go through this. Okay. There's her diaper pin. And there's her little cloth diaper. It's a little bulky, but maybe I'll hold on these big bloomers. Yeah, maybe I'll hold on your big bloomers. There we go. There we go. Now we got our diaper on. And that's like an old-fashioned... There's several diaper folds you can do. That just happens to be the one I'm doing. But there is some other little diaper folds that I want to learn. For sure. All right, there she is. And the video is definitely long. So I hope you enjoyed watching it today. Um, and I can't wait to come back for, for some more changing videos. With some babies. Yeah, you want to come and sit with her? So we can see you guys together? There you go. You just want to come down, huh? So there's the girls in their bonnets. Nothing says Easter like... Um, frilly dresses and bonnets, does it? I love Easter dresses with bonnets and all the lace and smockings and how precious. And of course, we cannot forget our sweetie pie Jana. <laughs> oh, I know that flash is on. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my girls, some of my girls today. And uh, I'll talk to you all later, and I'll be back with some more changing videos. All right, bye-bye now.